Hello everyone and welcome to the Vortex Where Lies and Falsehoods are Trapped and Exposed. I'm Michael Vorce. After so much vacillation and ambivalence during campaign 2008, which vomited up for us Obama, it appears that there may at last be some movement among the U.S. bishops and some of them may be experiencing buyer's remorse, like we may add so much of the rest of the American electorate appears to be experiencing with regard to having voted for O. Could it be that the light of freedom and clear thinking might not yet be totally extinguished in the land of the free and the home of the brave? Well, a short while ago, New York Archbishop Timothy Dolan, who is president of the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops, published a letter written to Obama, published the letter written to Obama, where he said, quote, Mr. President, I respectfully urge you to push the reset button on your administration's approach to DOMA, end quote. DOMA is, of course, the Defense of Marriage Act, which is the federal law defining marriage as between one man and one woman only. It has become the target of Obama and his cronies who want to trash traditional marriage by elevating sodomy to the same level. So good for the Archbishop. According to reports, Archbishop Dolan and former USCCB President Cardinal George of Chicago sent previous letters to Obama in private stating the same thing, and big surprise here, got nothing in response. So this time they went public, apparently running out of patience and having to be begin coping with an increasing level of frustration at being ignored. Again, good for them. Obama has never been a person that could be trusted, period. He has a perverse view of the world where children can be killed and sodomy is a virtue and something to be celebrated. And he did nothing to keep this a secret while he was campaigning. He has used the Oval Office as a seat of power from which to launch attacks against the American system of government and American patrimony and history. Again, no surprise, he sat in the pews of a racist preacher Sunday after Sunday for 20 years who poured forth racist hate-filled bile against America. Part of that American legacy his policies strongly suggest he detests is respect for working families. He has run up trillions of dollars in new debt and piled it on the backs of American families who will have to face the music with this sooner or later. He has been allowed to stand on Catholic stages at Catholic universities and preach his hypocrisy and deliver his lie-filled speeches about finding common ground on such issues as conscience clause for health care workers who object to the evil of his health care program. He was lying then and he knew it and so did a lot of other people. He never had any intention of finding common ground. There is no common ground with evil. Forcing good men and women in the health care field to choose between their careers and supporting their families versus going along with a government program which kills people is evil. In fact, if that doesn't rise to the level of evil, what does? Obama is moving rapidly to set up a situation on the question of homosexuality where Catholics exercising their faith-filled obligations in good conscience could very well be deemed to have committed a federal offense. He is doing this knowingly and with full deliberation. Obama is putting forth monstrous policies, but again, no surprise, he favors killing children. No matter how dressed up and polished he may be, the heart that beats beneath that teleprompter-driven facade is full of malice and hate toward the good. Recently at a fundraiser, he was heckled by someone shouting about Jesus Christ, and he stood there in all his smugness and said that he too believed in Christ. Obama most certainly does not believe in Christ, not the way in which our blessed Lord commands to be believed in. Can anyone seriously believe, think about this for a moment, can anyone seriously believe that the same Jesus who preached that a man who merely lusted after a woman had committed adultery with her in his heart could condone homosexual sex as a moral virtue? Can anyone seriously believe that the same Jesus who preached, let the little children come unto me, would condone slaughtering them in the womb by the millions all over the world? Can anyone seriously believe that the same Jesus who preached, know the truth and the truth will set you free, could condone forcing people to choose against their truth-filled consciences? This man's agenda disqualifies him from being able to receive even one single Catholic vote from anyone who claims to be Catholic. His blueprint for this country is evil, his agenda is evil, his method for achieving it is evil. It is right for the Catholic bishops to oppose his plans publicly, 
It's too bad there wasn't more talk of this before the 2008 election. If Archbishop Dolan is serious, as he sure sounds near the end of his letter to Obama when he says Obama's intransigence will, get this, precipitate a national conflict between church and state of enormous proportions. If he's talking like that, then the Archbishop better prepare for battle. Obama will pull the whole house down on his head and the rest of us before he will back away from his agenda. So to that end, Catholics, you and me need to get behind Archbishop Dolan and give him loud and vocal support for standing up to this enemy. We've attached the Archbishop's letter on this page, on the link, as well as his email address for you to express your support and encouragement and let him know that he should not back down and that you are with him in the coming conflict. Please email him and pray for our bishops. They will need all our support in the battle that lies ahead. God love you. I'm Michael Voris. Please help us keep delivering these kinds of messages that so desperately need to be heard and acted on. Join RealCatholicTV.com today as a premium subscriber. Become immersed in the faith established by Jesus Christ. The Catholic Church is the only hope against evil because that is its God-given mission. As our Lord said, apart from me, you can do nothing. Join RealCatholicTV.com today as a premium subscriber and come to learn and love Christ more deeply.